All right, it's going down. Let's get to it. Today, it's all about Sonic the Hedgehog. As you can see, I already have my base coat and I already have my sketch. I'm going to go over how to do that in another video. But right now, I'm going to show you my painting techniques. Inside of the Van Skate has a canvas material. When painting on that, you want to use your fabric medium. I suggest the GAC 900 by Golden. Also, you want to have your heat gun by your side because this fabric medium is a heat setting fabric medium. I just use a blow dryer, which is cool also, but I think I might upgrade to a heat gun. Anyway, I'm going to leave details on how to purchase the heat gun and the fabric medium below. Now, let's get to business. I want you to take a look at my paintbrush. It's an old detail brush. As you can see, it's not that pointy. It's not perfect, but I'm not going to use it to detail. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this old detail brush and I'm going to use it to outline my object. Whatever my color is, you know, I'm just doing an outline within the inside of the object. We're not trying to be perfect right now. This is a character, and I'm going to come back later and outline it in black. So these edges don't got to be perfect. They might be outside of the line a little bit. Don't make a difference. It depends on what you're doing. And what I'm doing is just tapping these edges. And I'm going to take my time with it. It ain't no rush. Man, painting on a shoe takes a whole lot of patience. It's so small. It's so many cracks and crevices and curves and turns to get into. But if you want your work to look nice, just take your time. Okay, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit and get to the next part. Now that I have all my edges covered, I'm going to switch brushes. Now this time we're going with a thicker brush and we're going to color it in. So using that same color, we're going to go in the inside of all our edges that we already prepared to set us up to be able to get through this quick. It's like a coloring book. We use those edges as barriers to not go outside the lines. You see that and sometimes to get in the small areas, I do have to pick back up my skinny brush. Like I said, just take your time and you can make it happen. And there you have it, perfection. This is what it should look like after a couple of layers. Now, how many layers is totally up to you, but you don't want to do too many because you don't want your paint looking caked up on your product. Now, that's my tip for the day. Pause. Hey, if you got questions, ask them in the comment section. And be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell because I'm going to continuously make videos sharing my knowledge. Oh yeah, and if somebody's paying you hundreds of dollars for custom shoes, man, give them something extra. Sometimes I decorate boxes, sometimes I might leave a card in there, or just anything extra you can do. Man, every detail counts. I don't always do boxes for every shoe, but for the most part, I do for a lot of vans, especially if they're characters.
Signed, sealed, now it's time to deliver.